natives in the East Riding of Yorkshire and this is my podcast about my handmade life. You can find me on Instagram as Luli underscore and on Ravelry is Luli and I have an Etsy shop where I sell notions cases and knitting needle cases and that's at Shop Luli and you can find links to all of my online places at luli.com the first thing that I wanted to talk to you about today is my new pattern release. Um, and this week I have put out um, my favourite toe up socks pattern. This is just a new vanilla pattern. Um, I think maybe it was over a year ago that I put out my favourite, yeah, my favourite sock pattern. Um, and sometimes I just like to knit socks toe up, sometimes it just makes the design look better. So my tiny owl's socks are knitted toe up because that means that the beaks of the owls are up the right way. <laughs> um, and so, and I actually started knitting socks toe up. I used to use um, Wendy's toe up sock recipe and for a long time I didn't realise that there was another way to knit socks um, and so yeah that was the recipe that I used. I stopped doing it because I didn't, I didn't like the heel, I have a high instep and I didn't find the heel easy to adjust and I just really liked the fit of my top down socks. Um, but since then I have um, found my favourite um, swirl toe and I really like the flegal heel because it's easy to adjust for my inset, instep and so I thought I would um, release my favourite toe up sock pattern for you to enjoy. So that's on Ravelry now. Um, I have put it on there for £2.50 because it has been tech edited and tested and all of that good stuff so that you know that um, it should be right and easy to follow and all of all of those things however you can get it for free if you join my newsletter so yeah I used um, Akara yarns and I haven't bought the tag with me because I've lost it somewhere and um, yeah but this is the second um, I got a sock blank from Rose and it was just beautiful she does the most um, wonderful um, soft colorways. I think she lives in Ontario, Canada. Yeah, beautiful, soft, subtle colorways, and these are just stunning. They have a little bit of a biscuit color in them, and some purple, and pink, and yellow, and they're just so pretty. Um, so yeah, if you fancy um, trying out a new vanilla sock pattern, then you can pop over to Ravelry. Join my newsletter mailing list if you want to get the pattern for free. Um, yeah, and enjoy. This is community news. And I've just said that, and I need to look down and work out what I was supposed to talk about in community news. Um, yeah, there's a couple of things going on. Uh, we have the stash depreciating shawl along and lots of you have already cast off shawls that you must have had languishing around your house and joined in that. And some of you have cast on shawls, especially for the knit along. Um, and there's just so many pretty yarns and patterns um, over in that group at the moment. I'm really enjoying um, taking a little snoop around there and seeing what you've been, seeing what you've been doing. It's loads of fun. I haven't knitted on my shawls this week, so I'm not going to show you that at the moment. Yeah, um, yeah. but if you do have a whip that's been languishing for a while, or you've had some stash yarn that just wants to be together in a shawl, then please come over and join in in the Luli Ravelry group. A couple of you also decided to join me in Mending May. Um, this was kind of a challenge to myself to get off my chuff and actually fix and alter some things that were languishing about around my house. And you have seen these socks a few times. These are my 2016 Advent socks and I have chopped out all of the felted bits and replaced them. 
and there is actually one tiny little felted section in my 2017 advent socks that I need to chop out and replace as well um, and I have been saving these to to show you that I've finished <laughs> And it's a little bit chilly here today, so I'm actually going to take them off the sock box blockers and pop them on my feet. Now, I've been really excited to, to wear them again, and I love that they are even more chaotic and stripy and weird than they were when I finished them for um, as Advent socks. <laughs> I also have done a minor repair on my um, winter gloves. I had a little hole in this finger that um, Tom of Holland showed me how to repair using a buttonhole stitch technique um, to make a really solid repair over that hole, um, which was really interesting. That was the t technique he recommended for that area where there was already a hole and then for this bit where it was just starting to get thin he just suggested that I swiss darn it so I finally got around to doing that I did his um, darning master class when I was at the Edinburgh Yarn Festival and it was fun <laughs> I really enjoyed it um, I think it was a way to help me re-look at the things that I had and rethink my feelings about mending as a creative process rather than a utilitarian process um, so yeah it tweaked my tweaked my thinking so that was the other thing that I actually got done for mending May I had greater aspirations um, and I think the main thing I achieved for example with my um, I wanted to change one of the button bands on my cardigans and put snaps on it and I didn't quite get around to doing it, but at least I have the stuff to do it now. It's all in the house, and I just need to crack on with that. So, yeah, Mending May was a good way of giving me a uh, chuff along to get stuff done. And if you did come over and share your mending projects, I'm so pleased that you did, because it kind of inspired me to keep going and to try new things that I was feeling a bit trepidatious about. Yeah and to carry on trying new things and to make my old things new again so that was really exciting and thank you for joining me i'm drinking a david's tea today and i've been given a couple of these and while they do taste i mean they taste nice um i'm always a bit wary of fruit teas and the acidity of them and I noticed that the ones that I've been given have added sugar as well. And I try to avoid drinks with added sugar. I have a sweet tooth anyway. And so not having drinks with added sugar is a good way for me to cut down on sugar. But I don't think I would buy a packet of these because, as I say, quite... Well, I haven't had that many. I've probably had about four or five gifted to me. And all except one, I think, has had added sugar in it. So, yeah, I don't think there's something I would buy. Hmm. If you saw the podcast uh, last week, you will have seen that I was off to spend the bank holiday weekend with my god family. And, um, and I was taking down my sewing machine and we were going to make the jelly roll race quilt. And it was a good weekend to do it, actually, because there was intermittent rain. Well, there were violent thunderstorms in, um, I think it was Friday or Saturday night. Yeah, really violent th thunderstorms. You, were, you had to be tucked up and cosy in your bed. But I set up my sewing machine at the end of the table, and we all worked on the jelly roll race quilts together. I think I showed you the jelly, jelly roll and the fabrics um, last week. I had totally miscalculated how much fabric I would need for the back, so we actually had to take a little trip to John Lewis to get some um, really fun extra fabric to put on the back. We used up all the scraps and bits and pieces for that. And um, it's my nine-year-old goddaughter who is really keen to get into sewing, 
and um, her mum, my friend, used to sew a lot um, and so yeah she was really excited about the project as well and my godson who is 12 now um, was interested in having a go he helped me trim all the edges and put on the binding um, and I was really surprised they're they're a family that like to spend time together and they work well as a team and so if if someone is having a go at something they will all muck in together and do it and so yeah dad and my godson helped me help put on the binding and sewed that on um or did the machine sewing around the front and then mum and i um had a bottle of wine and hand stitched down the binding on the back <laughs> That was really nice. We had a lovely chat while we did it. Um, yeah, so that was really good. We had a big quilting bee. I had expected that they might lose steam on this after we had sewed together the top and maybe the back. So I had expected that we were, that I would have to bring it home and finish it off. But that wasn't the case at all. They wanted to learn about all of the processes and see how it was put together. And they were really chuffed to have it on the couch and to use it when it was done. So hopefully, while I've been chatting, I have inserted some photos of the quilt um, so that you can see what we got up to. We managed to do it in two days um, and just did it in shifts with everybody having a go. That was, yeah, super good fun. And it was a good thing to do while we while it was raining and we would go, we would go out and walk dogs and that sort of thing and then come back and then do a bit more sewing. Um, yeah, and it turned out really well, and they were really proud of themselves as well. So I know a couple of people saw my last Jelly Roll quilt and might have bought the materials and might not have started just yet. So if you have all the stuff, then get it out and have a go. You don't have to do it all in one sitting like we do. Um, we did, but it is a fun beginner quilt to have a go at. And it's a good size as well. It's a little smaller than single bed size. And so it's a nice one to have as a throw on the on the couch. I've only really been knitting on one thing since I spoke to you last, and that is in my bag of friends. Um, and I decided that I would take on my little holiday um, my traster sleeves. So I ran out of, I was at craft craft night last night with some friends, we just get together once a month and have a, have a coffee and a natter, and I ran out of yarn on this one, um, so that's why it's got scrap yarn there. So I undid the colour work around the bottom of the other sleeve, whoops now I'm throwing things around. Um, I undid the colour, colour work around the cuff of the other sleeve because I've decided that I'm not going to put colour work on the edges at all. Um, I had been dithering about this and I'm still dithering about it a little bit. <laughs> I keep looking at the pattern and thinking, oh that looks nice but it is quite busy around the yoke. Um, yeah, so now that I've actually undone it and started knitting down again, I feel like that decision is kind of made, although I may yet change, my, no I won't, that decision is made. So yeah, all I have to do is finish off the sleeves and grasp, grasp, I can't even think of the word now, graft, graft those onto the body and Traster will be all done. So yeah, um, and I am making that in Let Lopi. I think my focus for the coming week, I talked about Buddy the Bear last week and I have all the stuff to actually do that now. The needles arrived uh, yesterday. I needed some long doll needles to do his eyes and some of the other details. Um, I did try it with just a regular needle but they just weren't long enough um, and it just wasn't working out as nicely as I would have liked. So I now have all the materials to finish off Buddy the Bear this weekend hopefully. Um, I also have the silk cami still going that I showed you last time. 
Um, so yeah, that shouldn't take too much more work to get. I'm looking up here because that's where it is. <laughs> Not that you can see that. Um, yeah, so Buddy the Bear, the silk cami that is not silk, but that's the name of the pattern. Now I'm just rambling. Buddy the Bear, the silk cami, and Traster. I think those are going to be my, my focus for the week. It's been really nice to sit and have a chat with you, and I hope you're looking forward to a really fun weekend. Um, come and join us in the Ravelry group. It's so nice to meet you there. If you want to hear me witter on about all of my making life, then please subscribe to, um, below, and you can give me a thumbs up. And I love it when you comment as well. That's really good fun. And I shall see you next time. Cheerio!